Hi and welcome. Thank you so much to all new subscribers. This is a polarized lens filming with a camera, the sun, in a very cool way to be able to see the fires, the solar flares, and of course, oh, those hateful clouds. But again, that's why we're alive. <laughs> Look at it the way you want. Listen to all new subscribers here that want to see real UFO evidence. Lots of videos up and the skies and the weather here when it's cold when there's snow there's always documentation you just got a quick look this is it um the sun is it 26th of january but let's cut right away to today's sun and listen for about two minutes we'll go to about uh just be cut off at about the three minute time mark of the video and then we'll plunge into the surface of the moon I have so much documentation. I have UFOs roaming around in the atmosphere, natural or not, on the surface. I believe that the surface of the moon, while we're looking at the sun, today's sun, by the way, I believe the moon is deliberately hiding the surface with all those lights that are there, the bright patchy areas, the UFOs go from bright area to bright area. They blend in with the surface of the moon. They have the same reflectivity as the surface. There's no two ways about it. It's near impossible to detect them, but not impossible, just near impossible. There's a lot of other things that these lights can be. They can be debris. They can be, that's why, duh, right? That's why we study the characteristics of the objects that we find. A uh, UFO light that is going in a straight trajectory out of control. You have UFO lights that change directions. Their lights go on and off. So obviously, no, it's not debris with the light going on and off. And um, like I said, the characteristics of the UFOs tells us right away, gives us a really good idea of exactly what we are looking at. So that was today's sun. I want to go back to the U.S. Navy, like, a couple of seconds to see their capture that they supposedly declassified last year, but caught many years before. They don't tell us much, right? Over to um, the surface of the moon, there's a lot of color. Those just arriving here also have videos of, check it out, all the amazing color, no manipulation, no filtering. Um, the HD on my telescope, my, the Celestron CGXL telescope goes and gets the colors. You can see that that blue is actually patches of something that's built over top of the surface, right? U.S. Navy, real quickly, the lights, by bringing down the exposure, you can see that those lights are b controlling the device and changing it from direction as the intensity of the different fires all around it. It looks like there's four, five, six, seven, eight fires all around this object controlling it. But did you see the shape of that object? Now look at the shape of the objects that I'm capturing on the moon, just some of the shapes. Why am I mentioning this? I'm telling you there's that particular shape with the light in the center and that beam of light on each side. It looks just like what the US Navy is showing. And look at these lights. Look at how many of them are on the surface, folks. If this was just one light going by in, um, you know, a one-time thing, but it's not, check it out. While well, my clock rings, I don't know if you can hear it. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, smokes and hazes in the atmosphere, objects lighting up, catching on fire also. So there's even theories about a war now, but are some of these biological creatures? Look at them. Debris, could be. You know, it could be many things, <laughs> but you see that there's a lot of movement on the surface, not just um, disturbance uh, between Earth and the moon. It gets a lot more disturbance when you zoom into the moon and get close to the moon. That's when you see all the disturbances. It's coming from the surface. Some of these captures that you're seeing do not have the characteristics of UAPs or UFOs. It just doesn't make any sense. It could be a biological creature. It doesn't look like debris either. When you see it moving from left to right, slowing down, stopping, illuminating, getting bigger and smaller, actually looks like it's expanding and contracting some of the objects that we've seen. And I say object, it looks like something alive. And this mysterious haze on the surface is what I believe, folks, is hiding the whole shebang. It's hiding the whole thing. Those lights, those bright areas, and the smoke permits them to go wherever the hell they want. 
But here's another thing that's not in the news, which really bugs me, are these patches at the end of these constructed objects and platforms and lines like they're either hauling crap out of the surface of the moon guys or they're literally that's a remnant of what they're producing and this that's the no good part that they're piling up outside on the surface of the moon maybe using that to hide structures um again just theory but you look visually that's what we're looking at literally what we are looking at you can see them this one's higher up um, out of the atmosphere of the moon over top of the moon and it's extremely slow just you know um, it doesn't look like debris it doesn't have the characteristics of debris it's almost stationary almost stopped there and you can see it and uh, check it out really taking the time to bring the exposure down as I continually say for millions of times since I've been doing this uh, work look at the UFOs by bringing the exposure down no one's going to take the time to do that but when you do you go, oh, there, those are the lights. I mean, it's not hard to prove that something's up on the moon. I did the opposite. I didn't start this channel wanting to prove there was something on the moon. I got a lot of proof of what was on the moon, so I started the channel. And look, are these wars? Seriously, are they smoking the surface? Is, uh, you know, there's talk about people uh, saving the planets. I mean, are we losing our minds? Or where's all this information coming out from? That's another thing I have a big problem with is the information that comes out. Right? Speaking of coming out, what about a UFO coming out of the surface of the moon, which I never got a lot of attention uh, with, and I show every two, three, four, five, six videos for 20 seconds, like you just saw there, for so more people can see the truth. Yep, they're coming out of the moon, or they're taking off from the surface. This is Mare Fecunditatis. You want to know where they are? Mare Fecunditatis is the area where we see the most bloody structures. Quite plain and simply put, you know, no two ways about it. I do believe they are going to talk about the moon. Hey, look at the lights under the hazes taking off in military formation. There must be thousands of them on the moon. Where the hell are they going? Are they coming to Earth? Well, of course they're coming to Earth. The three branches of military, the only ones who ever talk about UFOs, said that there are lights buzzing around every military installation, basically, here on Earth, and that they don't know where the lights are coming from. They're hoping it's not from China. Well, of course they're going to say, I hope it's not from China, because that way we'll be able to bomb China, right? Actually, I don't really mind that, but I'll be honest with you, it's a game. They use us as, uh, just like on a chessboard, right? Where the um, chess pieces moved around wherever the hell they want us to go or whatever they want us to do. Jeez, I'm so surprised that people are not standing up asking and demanding more what the hell is going on. But I think it is an awakening right now, and that's what we're seeing the whole world do, including the Freedom Convoy in Canada, British Columbia heading down to Ottawa. We got Montrealers heading out down to Ottawa. We got people supporting the truckers on the side of the highways. Enough is enough. I can no longer buy alcohol. I can no longer go to see a movie. I can no longer go to restaurants with my family. Sort of upsetting, isn't it? Well, what's the goal of a government to do that to someone? Easy. They hate us, right? Well, we hate them too. And that's where we're seeing it on the highway everyone in canada okay everyone in canada 99.9 percent .9 of canadians do not trust the government i don't care what trudeau says or what anyone says but these objects on the moon are also remaining hidden and even when someone shows it in a credible way in a legitimate way scientific wise i'm i'm doing this the way astronomers do uh, astronomy i'm doing this the way uh, people that work in space and show objects in space or work. I'm not doing nothing different, but the difference is that I'm finding stuff on the moon. Watch this UFO that's connected to the surface somehow with smoke disappear. And you see the smoke dissipate downwards. Why is there smoke and fire on the moon? I'll tell you why. Because there's an atmosphere. The atmosphere is probably, in theory, higher than what they told us. And if not, well... Good luck explaining all the fires, because it goes against the laws of physics, now doesn't it? I believe a higher being is protecting Earth. Not necessarily because they care about us, in theory, but they care about the solar system and the universe. And that we know that the universe cannot be unsettled, right? 
be, it could be very dangerous. Changing the way the solar system and the entire universe functions and rotates and floats or whatever, oscillates, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to say, which basically it's all unknown to everyone. And science is just a theory. All these objects that I'm capturing on the moon are not theories. They're proof. Biological creatures letting off mysterious bioluminescent gases, which are very, very bright yellow. Imagine having been able to witness that. And if not, one big space channel will mention it because there are no real space channels. This is what all space channels are looking for. I'm telling you, all space channels want to expose the government for doing this. This shit on the moon, whatever the hell it is. I can't even explain what it is. Explosions are very rare. NASA tells you you will very rarely be able to capture an explosion. Well, why do I get them every day? Because I go up every day, every day I can, and you see these bloody explosions on the moon that are not meteors or asteroids. They don't have the same characteristics. They're different characteristics. They're just not talking about it. That's the big hush. Leading up to 2024, the world will revert its attention and divert its attention towards the moon because the moon is the celestial object closest to Earth holding the biggest secret in the entire universe. Doesn't matter cause the slow just coming soon.